We are learning more tonight about a federal lawsuit against several Arizona gun shops accused by the Mexican government of knowingly participating in illegal gun smuggling across our border. News for Tucson's Chorus Dylander joins us live outside the federal courthouse downtown with what's behind this move by Mexico. Chorus. Well, Sean, the lawsuit names five Arizona gun shops, three of them here in Tucson, where the case ultimately will be decided. Tonight, one of the gun shop owners tells us he's faced some serious financial impacts from this before ever having a day in court. It's all political. Fearichart Murphy owns Ammo AZ in Phoenix, one of five gun stores accused of illegal weapons smuggling in this federal lawsuit filed in October by the Mexican government. The lawsuit states Mexico traced 19 guns used for crime that were sold to five different people five years ago back to Ammo AZ, an allegation he adamantly denies. Um, I have had two ATF audits since then, and obviously if we were doing something wrong, we have, would have already been shut down by the ATF. For, so for the country of Mexico to actually obtain that information, I didn't give it to them. They got it from our own government. So our own government is helping Mexico sue me. The other stores being sued are the Hub, SNG Tactical, and Diamondback Shooting in Tucson and Sprague's in Yuma. Murphy is the only one to agree to an interview. So far, none of the owners have filed a formal response to the allegations. A judge has ordered an extension, giving them until January 13th. Murphy says the delay is trying to get his insurance company to cover legal costs. He has already faced huge financial losses. Uh, the bank that I was banking with saw me on the news. They shut down my banking relationship with them. But, um, and then I also was pre-approved for a $10 million loan to start a shooting range. They canceled my loan as well. Last year, Mexico filed a similar lawsuit against gun manufacturers. It failed, thrown out by a judge. Murphy believes this is a political attack from Mexico. If they file a lawsuit against five mom and pop gun stores and they could shut down one of the five, I would say they would probably consider that a success story and say, hey, look, we, we did something about it. We shut down a gun store and they're just going to move on to the next five. And Murphy tells us he's already planning a counter lawsuit against Mexico. He plans to seek damages up to $100 million. He says he's waiting to file that uh, once this current lawsuit reaches its conclusion. That conclusion will happen here at federal court in Tucson, expected to happen during the summer. We're live from downtown Tucson, Core Snylander, News for Tucson.